Okay, welcome to lesson 10.2, comparing data displayed in box plots. Okay, so in this explore activity, we are analyzing box, plot, box plots. Box plots show five key values, the least and greatest values, the least and the greatest values, the lower and upper quartile, lower quartile, upper quartile, and the median. All this is a review from sixth grade. To create a box plot, arrange the data in order and divide them into four equal sized parts. Okay, so that's already done here. And the number of points a high school basketball player scored during the games he played this season are organized in the box plot shown. So the least amount of points he scored in the game was 15 and the most was 30 and the median was, uh, what, let's say uh, 21 and so on. So but least and greatest values. The least was 15, I just said that, and greatest was 30. Find the median. Okay, the median is 21 right there. The median or second quartile, because this is the first quartile, second quartile, third quartile. Uh, second quartile divides the data values into two halves, the lower half and the over, upper half. So the upper half and the lower half. Uh, find and describe the lower and upper quartiles. The lower quartile, which is Q1, is the median of the lower half of the data. So this is lower this is the lower quartile or the first quartile and this is the middle of all the data on the lower half and quarter uh, q3 or the third quartile is the upper quartile and that's the this is the median of the data of all of that now it looks i know it doesn't look like it's in the middle but remember this is based on all the numbers data in, in behind the scenes that we had we we don't have access to we're just told, okay, this is the distribution of that data. Okay, the interquartile range is the difference between the upper and lower quartiles, so uh, which is represented by the length of the box. So the interquartile range is that right there. So the range is this, and the interquartile range is this. So uh, quartile three minus quartile one, 27.5 minus 17.5, 27.5 minus 17.5, and that is a difference of 10 points. Okay, so why is one half of the box plot wider than the other half? Well, the quarter of the data to the right of the median is more spread out than the quarter of the data to the left of the median. And I had already mentioned some of that. So this data is was more spread out than this data was. Okay, next, box plots with similar variability. You can compare two box plots numerically according to their centers or medians and their spreads or their variability. Range and interquartile range, which we call also the IQR, are both measures of spread. Box plots with similar variability should have similar boxes and whiskers. So when we're looking at, when we're wondering, well, what is variability? What am I looking for? You're looking for similar boxes and whiskers in that. So the box plots show the distribution of time spent shopping by two different groups. Okay, compare the shapes of the box, uh, box plots. The positions and lengths of the boxes and whiskers appear to be very similar. Yeah, they are, and that's, this is just kind of shifted to the right a little bit, but the shape is very similar. In both plots, the right whisker is shorter than the left whisker. This whisker is shorter than this whisker. Uh, the centers, uh, group A's median, 47.5, is greater than group B's at 40. So this median is greater than this median. This means that the median shopping time for group A is seven and a half minutes more. For C, compare the spreads. And uh, in the spreads, we're looking at ranges and interquartile ranges. So the box plot shows the interquartile range. The boxes are similar. So interquartile range here, 55 minus 30. So 55 minus 30. And the other one for group B is uh, 59 minus 32. 59 minus 32. So we can see here that the the whiskers have similar lengths. Group A is slightly shorter than group B's. And we're looking at that, at that right there, comparing those two numbers right there. Okay, which group has the greater variability in the bottom 50% of shopping times? And what about the top 50% of shopping times? Explain how you know. 
Well, group A has a greater variability of the bottom 50%. And of the top 50% top 50 of shopping time is group B. And you look, that's not buck. That's L-O-O-K. L-O-O-K. Look at which box has a greater distance from the median to the minimum or maximum, respectively. So for the bottom 50%, we have... Um, uh, so which box has a greater distance from the median to the minimum? Okay, so uh, so right here, this has a greater variability, medium to the uh, the minimum to the median, and in group B, that has greater variability right there, and that's what's being mentioned in this answer here. Okay, next, the box plots show the distribution of weights in pounds of two different groups of football players. Compare the shapes, centers, and spreads of the box plots. So we got this here. The boxes have similar shapes, although group B has a shorter box and shorter whiskers. Okay, shorter box, shorter whiskers than group A. Uh, group B's median is greater than group A's, so this median is greater than that. And uh, let's see. Sh uh, Group B's shorter box means the middle 50% of the data is closer together than the middle 50% of group A's. So, yeah, the spread, this is a tighter spread than group A. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about spreads. Next, box plots with different variability. You can compare box plots with greater variability where there is less overlap of the median and interquartile range. So the box plots show the distribution of the number of teams wristbands sold daily by two different stores over the same time period. So we got this, wow, that is a huge whisker right there. And that's a really short little spot there. So let, let's see what uh, the publisher has to say about this. One, we compare the shapes of the box plots. So the shape, when we're talking about shape, we see that store A, a's box and right whisker is longer than sort b so uh uh the box this is well let's see sort a's box and whisk right whisker i'm thinking it looks like that one's actually smaller than that one but that whisker certainly is longer than store b's compare the centers well the, and in the centers we're looking at the medians this median here is larger than this median here and they say uh, store A's median is close to store B's medium, so about 50% of stores A's daily sales were less than the sales on store B's worst day. Yeah, so their worst day is right there at the median right there. Uh, compare the spreads of the dot plots. And, and you know what, by the way, uh, just go back to this. That's the, looking at this here and that revelation that their worst day is about on par of their Mi the, the middle of the road for the store A, that's the power of this. If we just saw all the sales and all these numbers all over the place, you wouldn't be able to see this. This is a very visual representation of what's going on. Compare the spreads of the box plots. Store A has a greater spread. Its range and interquartile range are both greater. Okay, easy. Inter range and in in range and interquartile range. Yeah, I guess that, yeah, that, that looks bigger than that one, I guess. So uh, four of these key values are greater than store A's. So four, one, two, three, four of these key values are greater than A's. Okay. Uh, A's corresponding value. Oh, wow. Okay. So what they're saying is this, these are corresponding values right here. And these are corresponding, and these are corresponding, and these are corresponding, and these are corresponding. So they match up. Store A has a larger value here, but the other four, one, two, three, four, corresponding to these four, these are greater than these in corresponding values. So store B has a greater number of sales overall. Next, our final your turn question. I'll fold this over. Uh, compare the shape, center, and spread of the data in the box plot with the data uh, for stores 
A and B box plots from the previous example, example two. So we have this here, number of team wristbands sold. Okay, the shape is similar to store A's. So when we look at this, that should be similar to A's right there. All right, we're looking at shape. Uh, the median is greater than store A's and less than store B. So this median is, oh, that's 45, less, it looks like it's probably like 44. So that's 44, and that looks like it's in between. Yeah, so it's sm it's it's smaller than that median, but larger than that median. So it's in between those two medians. And the and for when we're talking about spread, the interquartile range is about the same as store A's and longer than store B's. So interquartile range. So that box right there is uh, about the same as A's, but it's longer than B's. So it's about the same as that, but it's longer than that. And that's what you got to know about all of this uh, comparing data and box plots and all those wonderful ideas. Thanks for watching.